Hello. It's time to get to work on the Mercury. The diesel Jetta is doing good. It's running good. I replaced the wheel bearing. Uh, uh, still has trouble cold and starting in cold weather. But uh, warm days like this is no problem at all. We actually just took it on a family trip. Only about a thousand kilometers, but it did good the whole trip. Good mileage. Burnt about 50, 60 liters of diesel on the whole thousand kilometers. Uh, the Caprice leaking a bunch of oil up high somewhere. Might be coming from the oil pressure sender behind the intake manifold. Might be coming from the manifold itself because I just put that on not too long ago. Or uh, might be coming from the valve covers. Not likely the valve covers, but I'm replacing them anyways with chrome ones, nice shiny ones, some gaskets. Put the cover off right now. See if that works. Anyways, back to the Mercury, which is the point of this video. I'm going to do a whole series on this, fixing up this Mercury. If you haven't seen the uh, other videos, uh, this is my grandfather's Mercury. It got sold. I found it again. Bought it back. It originally came with a Ford 352 FE. Ford's big block. Uh, I was actually there when that motor blew up. That was back in 2005. I was actually driving it. And I got this truck for free. Uh, 94 I think F250 had a 351 Windsor in it fuel injected motor so I pulled that out this truck had a 4x4 transmission transfer case and all that I got that's in the back I sold the transfer case found a two-wheel drive transmission bolted it up I've got the 351 Windsor sitting down in there this truck ran good by the way I drove it for a long time it's a good motor and I got rid of that big uh, awkward intake the EFI intake I don't like them I call them the comb over because because they just they they everything sits over here and it's all in the way I actually cut some of the hood out which I really regret doing now that I've gone to this setup at the time I thought I was gonna run that EFI need to get uh, some nicer pulleys and stuff I'm not gonna be using that AC pump or the air pump I got some headers on it already I'm going to put some motor mounts in and build a transmission cross member. But I got the Edelbrock Performer intake manifold. And the reason I did this is because I bought a Holly EFI sniper, a sniper system. And we're going to see how that goes on here. So this car is still going to be EFI, but it's going to be tunable, touchscreen. I'll do a review on that system once I get this car up and running. And there's going to be a road trip. Do a roadkill type road trip video with this rat rod type deal. Good running motor. So stay tuned for all the updates. It's going to be awesome. 